Welcome back, guys. And a lot of luck you're watching episode 45 of my playthrough to the Blood and Titanium DLC to Phoenix Point. So, our Tiamat is still returning from Antarctica. We're exploring a bit with the other aircraft, but our main focus now is research. And here we have actually the opportunity to rescue soldiers. Isn't this lovely? It's in the mist zone. Scavengers are the enemy. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, take control of the independent soldiers, evacuate the site with them, continuous attack. And that's down here. I think I forgot to create a save for this, so episode 44 is done. And uh, yeah, let's get in there. Stamina is still in a not too bad range. Uh, we've got a couple of level 20, uh, level 7 so, uh, operatives here. Who could benefit from, for example, a bit more willpower with Optimus. What do we need here? Well, we'll need... Weak spot is actually gonna be a very good thing here, right? Uh, I'll think about that. Willpower is not bad any time. Let's do one willpower, one speed for Optimus. Shut up and shave. Also one more speed for you. Throw and kill. The last willpower point. And Lobro. You get... Oh, did you see that? They actually put the use cost down here with uh, with the abilities. That's good. Um, Lobro. What are we going to give you? Could do close quarters evade. Or really the troops spending three Phoenix skill points. Let's do that. And no panic and no mind control. That's also good. Let's spend more Phoenix skill points on that. I'm really... I'm not sure. Well, we'll see what kind of operatives we get here. That's going to be interesting. And Dragoon. Almost forgot about you. But you don't have any skill points, so that's fine. Okay. Don't worry about it. Good. Let's go in. Here we go. So, Salt Bandits, level 6 operative, okay. And we don't know where the neutral operatives are at, the t at this time. Um, but we've got someone with a very good perception, and that is. Sh oh no, Shut Up and Shave, you actually only got. Uh, 29, but we've got Dragoon with 40, so let's put some people in interesting positions here. Okay, yeah, heavy spotted with a Huragan machine gun. Yeah, that's not the problem, the problem is the armor. The problem is the armor. So... Ah, uh, well... Let's get a grenade over there. With a bit of additional range. Good. 
good. And let's put a rocket in there too. Might just work. <laughs> that looks like a flight path. Yeah. Okay. As I said, it might work. So... Random number generator. Didn't want it to. Another heavy down here. Also heavily armored. But only on level 2. Okay, so that's not just as big a concern as the other one. Okay, let's see. Shut up and shave. Another heavy. Seems there are a lot of heavies here. Hope that the other operatives, those that we are trying to rescue, can take care of themselves. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, let's see. 58 damage. That's alright. And Friedrich, how can we get you to hit several targets from here, for example? We can do that. Well, why not? Oh! And he's paralyzed. That's good. And we forgot the most important thing again. Frenzy everybody up here. And okay, can, did we spot someone else? No, we did not. See if we can paralyze some other people here. Or actually, let's see if we can do some damage. That's a coin toss if I've seen one ever. Yeah. Came up tails, I would guess. Oh, here's our operative that we are trying to rescue a ooh, level 5 sniper. Wow, that's not bad. There are, however, a lot of enemies in the way. All right. Let's see what happens. The problem is the many heavies. You're gonna get it now. Here we go. Okay, a lot of armor damage. We'll need to take this in a little more careful approach here. Assuming we survive long enough to do that. I see them coming. So I see two possibilities right now. We can try and paralyze a lot of them. Can't really get close enough. Oh wait, can we? 
Uh, Lobro is level 6. If you were level 7, this would play out a little differently. Okay. Let's start with another Boom Blast, because... That's the basics here. So here we get a good angle on those two. Sorry, can I see that again? So armor damage, equipment damaged, arm disabled. Okay, so he's basically out. The disabled arm. No chance to regenerate, no grenades on him. This guy back there, I don't like him. And then we have one here. That's a level one. Okay, I think we can deal with that. Oh, this looks like we have a good opportunity to do a mind control. Let's do that. And then you can please heal up. And... Can you get to cover somewhere? Not really. Okay, so this guy needs to be taken out. Well, first off, let's give him target. Another heavy spotted pick there. Oh yeah, that's our almost paralyzed guy. Let's get you here. Uh, where are our snipers? So, Friedrich, what do you think? Moving to position. Can you Acquiring target? Paralyze him. That's well. Might work, might not work. Let's try this. There we go. 16 out of 24. If I still... So, okay, that's not a paralyzing handgun, sadly. Uh, so... But what you can still do is... Targeting. Get a shot at that heavy. But we said he has a disabled arm, so that's not really important. Well, in that case, get another shot back there. And then go to Overwatch. I'm on Overwatch. Okay, so also you can actually now see the damage down here to the equipment. Isn't that nice? So, there are two folks over there that I don't like. Okay. Can we get a grenade back there to the paralyzed guy? Yes, we can. Let's do that. Maybe it will break his overwatch. It does not, apparently. Okay. Right. Or we can still launch a rocket uh, also. So let's do that. And maybe he's going to lose strength so that he's completely paralyzed. Oh. Yeah, there we go. And he's also almost dead. 40 bleed, so two or three rounds. Three rounds. That's exactly the time it would take for him to be unparalyzed. Deparalyzed? I don't know. It's not a word that is commonly used, is it? 
Okay, so... That's not too good a hit. He's paralyzed. So we may get in closer and hit that guy for reals. Let's take it up here. Ah, that costs the Master Marksman. And also the opportunity to... Oh no, of course we have quick aim. We have quick aim on you, Shadow and Shave, because you are part sniper. Um, let's not miss a chance here for Repetunes. Not sure if it will work. We don't have a lot of will points to go with. But let's try anyway. There we go. One more quick aim. This is not gonna kill him, so let's take a shot at this heavy first. He's done for also. And another quick aim is possible. So I guess we'll take him out too. One more. And he's returning fire? No, he's not. Okay. We're out of ammo anyway. Position two Optimus, and why not shoot this heavy for one and paralyze him even more? Good, then I think we can use a med kit first here with Low Bro, who is actually a healer. For those who didn't know. Oh, you can still reload. Well, you're still out of action points. Okay. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, lovely. Very good. Very good. Okay, get in there. Sniper in the back. We've got respawning enemies, we want to watch that. Oh, and we've we have two! Uh, where's our evic zone, by the way? Oh, it's back there. That's interesting. It's all the way across the map from our starting point. Um, well, let's put you here and see what happens. Do we really get... What's the other snipers? Level... Okay, that's a level one sniper. That's not so good, but we get a, two operatives from this mission and one of them a level five sniper. That's quite awesome. A 
Okay, as long as everybody's friends, you'd let's get them close to that evacuation zone. Don't want to stick around here too long. Well, that's a problem with uh, with the priests. Frenzy everybody but, but themselves. And let's give that sniper up here a target. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. I got this covered. You can reload your one rocket to the launcher. They look pretty much the same, don't they? Are we recruiting rebellious, Let's do this. independent, savage soldiers? Who knows? On the double. Channel open. What we can still do is get some experience for our not level seven operatives. Moving to position. And also we can already evacuate our level 7 Pretty shut up and shave. Uh, so what do we do with this guy? Well, why don't you take care of each other? Sprinting to position. Wait, what? Oh, that's that heavy. Uh, nobody cares. I'm on Overwatch. Yeah, I'm not taking the exactly straight route that won't put me in uh, line of sight of those snipers. I'm not of that sniper, there's only one. I'm maybe stupid sometimes, but not entirely. Let's roll! Let's roll. Uh, <coughs> my turn. Oh, come on. Yes. Why didn't he fire at his own operative, eh? On it. Might have saved his life. He's shooting at it. Optimus. Drawn it. Receiving loud and clear. <laughs> oh, 
let's find you once more. Hello, bro. He already used his uh, Virophage med kit, so he can also evacuate. Channel open. Repositioning, prioritizing. This is basically. This is always a trade-off, so you, you don't want to spend so much time uh, recuperating from the missions. So we use medkits, costs materials, but or costs resources. Uh, but I think the trade-off is pretty good. Oh, you can actually evacuate too. Thanks to Goon. The service, as usual, has been invaluable. Uh, how do we do that? Uh, let's get you here first. Who's using medkit? And that's sweet. So that heavy is no longer under our control. But I think we're going to be able to evacuate everybody on this turn. Yes, even threat kill. That's good. I wasn't sure about that if he might have to recover since he has zero will points, but apparently he doesn't. So... Alright. I'm okay with that. Let's do this. Good. I would say I like this mission type a lot. I like it much more than recovering vehicles, I like it a little bit more than recovering crates, because a level 5 soldier uh, that is, if you really get that level 5 sniper that we just saw, that's one hell of a uh, savings in time. Yeah, rescued two soldiers, that's good. Optimus has been promoted. Let's have a look what we get. There we go, amazing. Both snipers, Mariam and Ernst, have joined our troops. Uh, where are we going to put them? Which, <laughs> which one is my base with all training facilities? That's Phoenix Delta, right? Oh, and we already had a look at uh, their preference. Oh, look at that. All that damage stuff, all that replacement. That is quite expensive. 300 materials and 90. But honestly, for two operatives, that's very very good trade-off. Uh, let's have a short look. He's still on level up, Sensei. Okay. Ernst Scott. Close quarters sniper. Close quarters specialist with bombardier trade. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna make of you. 80 skill points though. That's nice. Sniper and close quarter specialist. All right. So you can already use a shotgun. Quick aim. Maybe an armor break with that. Berserk, Berserk sniper. Mm -hmm. 
or an assassin in some way. I don't know about that. Maybe it won't come to that anyway. We'll have to uh, to wait what happens. Sensei is also level four. Yeah, we'll we'll see about that in a minute. Um, but that was good. That was good. I like that. You guys go there. Helios is on its way there, and uh, Manticore, you go up here. Door nest has been revealed and is on the geoscape. Okay, there's a Pandora nest right there. And zero kilometers operating range. So that does not seem like an immediate concern, does it? We will take care of this, don't worry. Uh, just not sure. Helios, Manticore. Okay, let's do promotions here. Optimus. With your Hell Cannon, we'll give you the weak spot ability or Inspire. Both is good, but we usually Usually you're not the finishing off type at the moment, so we'll start with weak spot. And maybe we'll get the other one later. Then we have Chuck with a weapon that is not completely loaded, but he still has four shots, so that's alright with a Raven rifle. Then I saw that Sensei needs some training. Sensei a level 4 on the TM at the level 4 heavy. Um, so on the TM we already have RWC, RWC. So we do not especially need another heavy assault. He could... Oh, he's got the German Gunder Cannon, yeah. Um, let's leave him be for now. Ah, we need the 50 points anyway. So... Should we leave him for now? I think he's going to be a bombardier anyway. I don't think we have some one on the Tiamat crew with bombardier yet. So Sensei is going to do that. He can carry a lot of grenades for that. And uh, Well, I'm not sure. We could do Infiltrator with him, right? I think that was one idea. Heavy Infiltrator. Let's set this in stone right now. And uh, think about everything else a little bit later. Gonna get him some armor and stuff like that. Well, we might. We might do that. I'm not sh quite sure how far, how much soldier development we are going to do anymore in this game. Because it's, well, we're not that far from the finish line. All right. So, let's continue. Nothing found. Yeah, that's an exploration site. Nothing found. Wow. Okay, Tiamat is back home. Let's... Why? Let's give them the time.
Nothing found. Is this the new standard to find nothing? Oh, here's a... Uh, well, let's get some materials. Never hurts. And we're going to need some tech soon. Recover vehicle. With the Helios crew. Well, there is one reason I would like to do that, and that is to get Dexter to level 7. But we can also do that by attacking the Pandora Nest. I really don't need a vehicle. And Pandora Nest is always a good idea. So... Let's just finish exploring a little bit more here. Rescue soldiers. Now that's a different thing. We've got another soldier rescue site in the mist. Pandoran enemies at this time. Medium threat in the mist zone. Continuous attack. All right. I think that warrants a safe game. Actually, um, let's do this the next time. These missions are not that short. So, and especially with Pandoran enemies, they might throw something at us that costs us a lot of time. Uh, okay, then this is a, has been a very short episode. I hope, anyways, that you like what you're watching. If you have any suggestions to improve my videos, please leave them in the comments. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe to my channel. And remember folks, that you're all subject to luck.